Hey folks, no doubt you're here because of the title of the video. And it got me thinking, I haven't heard that phrase for a long time, a hell of a long time. I used to hear that, that, that ridiculous phrase banded about on YouTube, like just too much, too many times. And maybe finally, finally the women who actually say this crap must realize what a ridiculous and asinine statement that actually is. Because let's let's examine it. Let's let's break it down, right? He can't handle a strong black woman, right? Now, to suggest that somebody can't handle something would would suggest there's negative connotations attached to the thing that can't be handled, right? I mean if something's desirable and pleasurable. You won't attach the word can't handle to it. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you men has had a woman come up to you and say, or your wife or your girlfriend or any woman say, you know, you wouldn't be able to handle my delightful blowjobs. Or you wouldn't be able to handle you watching me in a doggy position or or doing a 69 with me or, or me doing the cowgirl on top of you. You wouldn't be able to handle that. Really? <laughs> Because it's attached to pleasure. I mean, I, anything that, uh, or someone says to you, oh, you won't be able to handle my, my soothing back rubs. <laughs> Whereas we all know if you can't handle something, it has to be attached to either stress, discomfort, danger, and, and damn right being uncomfortable. So to attach that negative connotation to dating and romance, you can't handle, what is it, what is it that a man wouldn't be able to handle in a woman if it isn't something negative? Think about it. What is it, again, what is it a man wouldn't be able to handle in a woman if it isn't negative? It has to be something negative for him not to be able to handle it. And what is that, what is that thing that he won't be able to handle? Well, whenever I heard, whenever I used to hear the term, you can't handle a strong black woman. You know what I would hear in my mind? I would hear that he can't handle me being a angry, masculine, unpleasant bitch who's got a whole heap of fucking hell to, excuse my swearing, I should swear less. Sorry, I do apologize. It's not very professional of me. Who can't handle the multitude of hell I've got waiting for this man to unleash in his life. So because he doesn't want to handle the hell that I have waiting for him, that makes him weak. So he can't handle uh, a hell on legs like me. That's what I hear when I hear he can't handle a strong black woman. I mean, what's there, what is there not to handle? I mean, there's a big difference between I wouldn't put up any, any rubbish from a guy because... None of us are perfect. We all have our flaws. All of us have a bad ways about us. Wrong side of wrong wrong side of us. Yeah. And some people, male or female, take advantage of people. So if you are saying, well, there's a difference between, you know, I'm not one per I'm not a person to be walked or, walked all over. You know, I'm not gonna take any crap from anybody. But to say he can't handle a strong black woman. I'm, I'm, I tell you what, I'm just glad I don't hear that phrase anymore, you know. And if I do hear it again, and, I, and it's on a, it's attached to a YouTube video, I'm going to leave a comment on it. Believe me, he can't handle a strong black woman, eh? And and they used to wear that comment with a bad as a badge of honor, right? With such negative connotations attached to it. Wow, wow, that is that has to be. One of the biggest coping mechanisms I've ever come across. One of them. Anyway, thank you very much. I know it's a trivial um, video, but it, I just thought it was fun to talk about it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye.